What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mainly Movies, the channel where we talk about, well, mainly movies. And today's cinema classic series, which will be episode 4, is one that I'm most certainly excited about because, it, because I'm going to be talking about a director that uh, not only inspires me but has proven to be a terrific and masterful uh, filmmaker uh, and that is Nicholas Rogue and today I'm not going to be talking about one film I'm actually going to be talking about these two films Don't Look Now and Walk About both films are actually in the Criterion but I do not own or possess the uh, the Criterion copy yet but I most certainly will eventually because of how much I enjoy and uh, I guess it's safe to say how much I love both of these films. Um, I do own The Man Who Fell to Earth starring David Bowie but have not watched have not yet watched it um, as well as a couple of his other films that he has made but I can I can say that I really do enjoy both of these films now the first film I want to talk about is Don't Look Now which is actually in the classic remastered um, collection as you can see by the uh, top there this um, this film uh, in a way after watching it I didn't know how to feel about it but then um, it, I let it sink in and I thought that the movie was terrific I thought it was really really well made um, uh, it, star it stars Julie Christie and Donald Sutherland, and the story of it is a, uh, it's it's about a a couple who have two kids, and one of them is found dead by the by a river. Well, not found dead. It's done in this very stylistic way, but the kid ends up drowning at the start of the film, and the it's a little girl, and she is wearing a it's a is a little girl or a boy? I can never remember. I, I apologize, but it is their child, and um, they drown in the river that they live by. Then we cut to a few months later, or a few weeks later. Um, I apologize if I'm a bit unclear about this film. I did watch it a while back, um, but they go to uh, they go to Venice. Um, and they go there almost to escape, but uh, to escape from what has happened. But Donald Sutherland also goes there for his work. Now, they are enjoying their time, but there is a few things that go uh, kind of wrong in a way, in a sense. They run into well, Donald Sutherland continues to see a child in a red hood, who he believes could be his child. And they think that she is still alive, or he or she is still alive. Um, and there's this kind of mystery about it, and there's these people that they keep bumping into, and from what I remember of the ending, there is a big twist, and a big kind of climactic ending, and um, I know a lot of people do talk about the ending more than the rest of the film, but I feel this movie, and Walkabout as well, both have beautiful editing, and cinematography. Um, the the way that both of the movies are shot and edited are very well done as well as directed Nicholas Rogue does a really good job at directing but both of these films uh, their editing and cinematography both stand out very much to me um, as well as the performances as well but don't Look Now uh, has an ending that will not only shock you, but will also make you want to re-watch the film and understand a bit more. I will show the back of this. And there's a beautiful, there's a, there's a beauty to the film, especially when they are just walking around uh, Venice and or, or they're on the boats. And it's this kind of nice feeling, but you know that something bad is going to happen at any moment. And it is quite a beautiful film. And I'm definitely going to get the 
Criterion collection of that one very soon. And now we're going to be talking about Walkabout, which is one that I recently just watched and is a little more clear, but is a film that is about a um, a young girl and a young boy who uh, go to have a picnic out in the Australian outback with their father, but the father ends up going mad and not n tries to basically shoot them and goes kind of insane and tries to shoot them and um, not only blows up the car but blows himself up so now they have no way to get back to the city so they are stranded in the Australian outback and not only did uh, Nicholas Rogue capture the Australian outback very well but he captured these performances very well uh, and not but that is mainly due to the actors themselves, the actress as well. But um, yes, it is. It is a very um, almost. Both of these films almost have some of a horror aspect to them in a way. But more, more don't look now. Don't look now. More has the horror aspect, whereas Walkabout has this um, survival aspect. Um, but Walkabout is mainly, and, and this is the part that interests me the most because I didn't know that this is what was going to happen during the film, was that the movie was mainly about the woman, or the young lady, um, uh, forgive me because I didn't remember her name, but becoming a woman. She, she is a young lady becoming a woman in this film. We open with a scene of her, uh, her mother cutting... Um, cutting up uh, vegetables for dinner or lunch or um, for a meal and we see just just that shot we understand that she is basically a typical mother later on in the film um, mainly at the ending of, at the ending of the film uh, we see this we see the same thing happening but with, the, with this with our protagonist of the film and um, it's meant to replicate that she is becoming a woman and that the journey through the Australian Outback is almost the journey of becoming uh, of, of becoming uh, an adult almost and um, how it changed you in a way and, and and it does change us as an audience in a way from what from the way we first see each character to the ending of the film and here is the back I'm hoping in a way I'm making sense talking about this film, but the movie is about a young lady becoming a woman, and that's main. That's the main kind of uh, takeaway I got from the film. And but it is a beautiful film. The look, the sound, the editing. There's one moment in the film where the little boy is talking to the indigenous Australian. Um, it, well, he's not talking, he's reciting a novel that he read. And as the scene, tr each, each shot transitions into another shot, it is a page peeling um, to another, to, to, the, to the next shot. So we're seeing a page peel into the next shot. And I thought that was very clever, as well as early on in the film, uh, the way that we transition into the Australian outback is by having a shot of a brick wall and then panning to the right of the um, of the brick wall, and we see the Australian outback. And I thought that the editing was really, really encapsulated a lot of things. And the editing in Rogue's movies are always very important to the film. That is both of these films. Um, they are very, very good. I'm looking forward to watching more Rogue films. Nicholas Rogue. In my opinion, if I had to pick one out of both of these, I'd probably have to say Walkabout is the most interesting. But Don't Look Now is also very, very good. And I do highly recommend both of these films. Um, Don't Look Now is a little bit more of a slower film. Um, but that does not take away from the brilliance that it uh, contains. I hope that you, you all... Um, consider my recommendations for both of these films because I I have nothing but great things to say about both of these films. They both deserve to be in some sort of uh, polite and 
and um, uh, uh, very considerate collection, which I mean they are in the Criterion Collection, but they both from af after watching both films, they definitely deserve to have some sort of uh, addition that um, can gain more views of these films. Um, I don't think. Uh, both of these films are talked about as much as they should be and I do honestly believe that both of these films and most of Nicholas Rogue's movies um, should be uh, classified as classic cinema. But anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.